Hello it's Ali. So it's been two years I'm designing RC cars from the chassis to the body. The first one didn't look that good. It looks like toy grate like this. But with the second one which I designed in the Supra and I put two cylinder nitro engine. It worked out really good but I was using 16% nitro fuel. It kind of destroyed the engine so you're gonna have to stay with 20%. And then I designed this one which is the electrical version. And I did some modification with the chassis and I made the engine bay a bit bigger so we can put four cylinder nitro engine in it or i have toyan's four cylinder gas engine which we're gonna put it soon so now we have a good experience with the chassis what are the weak points what kind of material we should use for that engine now we're gonna do something different which i have a v8 engine and we're gonna use it for a project and i'm thinking to make a truck version not like car but if you guys want to do a muscle car you can let me know in a comment section below because the first thing we're gonna design a chassis which for the body I can swap it not gonna be a problem and if you haven't seen these videos I will make sure to put them in the video description box below so you can catch them up how I build it and how it's driving all right so what we have is these packages for the v8 engine which I got it from the sterling kit and I will make sure to put them in the video description box below so let's unbox it and see what we have here all right this is the engine i'm gonna take that which comes in these foams and we're gonna have to put it together so this is the manual the gaskets and all the hardwares here we have the exhaust these ignition wires with the exhaust we're gonna test it and then we're gonna have to design our own but for now it looks really good and here are all the engine parts which we will assemble now all right next package which it will be the accessories pipes and all the fittings the radiator with the radiator I have two options I have this one and also I have another one which I will show you and here I have the spark plug which comes in eight and here I have starting switch and the ignition coils they also send me this fuel tank it's a bit small but we're gonna test it out and see how much run with this fuel tank we also have this for the radiator reservoir it's a bit big so maybe we can test it out and then design our own to sit in the engine bay but for testing it will be good and here's the second radiator which i think this is more scale for choosing for our project i don't think we will have problem with the cooling and yeah that's how it looks the size difference is way bigger if you are using just for the scale and you are not using as a car this will be good but if you are using for a chassis i think this will be good and i'm thinking to put it in front of the engine so if you are looking for scale i think this will be good but if you have more space and you are going to put it at the back of the car this will do just fine but i'll leave that for now i'm thinking i will use this but we will see and it also comes with all the fittings and brackets so that's really good all right let's look at the cylinder which is a v8 and if you look at the quality like you can see it's very accurate and it's machined really good and this is not a paint it's anodized which is really cool here's the oil pan these are the heads and the valve the good thing about the head the valves already installed which is really good and it will make your job way easier here's the carburetor the carburetor looks a bit big which i think it will burn so much fuel but i'm sure it will be worth it all right we have all the engine parts and i'm really excited to put it together and then we're gonna take the measurements so we can design and 3d print a chassis specifically for this v8 engine so let's go ahead and put it together
So the engine is fully assembled. The only thing I have to do, exhaust, but I'm not gonna put the exhaust on because we're gonna have to design our own exhaust depending on the chassis. And for the chassis, I already designed some of that sketching, which I will share with you what I did. All right, so here's the chassis. The design is simple, but I made it like heavy duty because this engine is a bit heavy. So that's why. And if we measure this, it's about 4.2. So here to here is 4.2 millimeter and it's going to give us a pretty strong chassis. These two sides are different, which I will show you after printing them. So I cut the chassis in pieces. Even if you have a small printer, you should be able to print this. And for now, the only thing I don't like about it is this part, which doesn't look like a scale. But for now, I don't have choice because I want to test things out. And this engine is heavy, so we're going to need something strong to hold that engine weight. So for now, I have this, but I will make it more scale after putting the engine and know what kind of problem you will have and for the arms i didn't use the pin just like the supra project so for the arms we will be using these ball joint which it will be screwed on on both sides for the top part and the bottom part which it will give us more sturdy and not wobbly arms so i already put all the pieces on the slicer and now we're gonna send it to the printer this video is sponsored by pcb way pcb way offering 3d printing CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. So if you are like me and working on custom design and want to 3D print it without having headache and failed print, head over to PCBWay.com. So I send most of the files to PCBWay to be 3D printed from the chassis to glasses, headlights, and also the exhaust to be 3D printed with metal. So in the next video, we will get the package with all these 3D printed parts. PCB Way's link in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. All right, here we have all the parts for the chassis and if you don't have one of these, it's very helpful, you should get it. So if you have so many balls, this will be very helpful. And now we have all the parts, we're gonna put it together and for putting this chassis together, you will need M3 balls, different lengths, which I will mention all after we finish this, but it will be all M3 balls. So for the suspension, we will be using M3 by 14 millimeter and for the chassis, it will be 10 millimeter.
All right, assembling the chassis is done. And for now, we're gonna be working in the front and we're not gonna do anything for the back. But for the front, they are completely different and I will show you what is the difference. All right, so the difference between the driver's side and the passenger side, this one, the shock absorber at the back and we have a room here for the axle if you wanna make it four wheel drive. And for this one, the shock absorber at the middle so we don't have any room for the axle if you want to make it four wheel drive so let me guys know should we make this project four wheel drive or rear wheel drive only so if you want to make it four wheel drive we have to think about differential here and we have to make a room here so let me guys know All right, it's obvious that the engine is very heavy and these springs not gonna hold it and if you put the body on it will be more weight so I think I'm gonna have to replace these springs because they are weak and they can't hold that much weight but overall it looks good and we have the radiator here I can put it like this but it will be too close to the engine so I think I have to put it like this so it will be in the center but the cab is here so I think we have to put it like this and the direction of the fan is like this so the hot air coming like this otherwise i have to turn it around but let me guys know what do you guys do with this if we put it like this it's not going to be scale and if we put it like this the hot air coming out it will be like diesel generator so we don't want that i'm thinking about more realistic to suction air from here and push it to the back so it will also cool down the engine as well another question is what body we should use for this car the chassis will be long maybe 70 centimeter i'm thinking about for dropter but you guys can let me know what we should do with the body and also for the back i'm thinking about solid differential but you guys can leave your suggestion what we should do with the back as well because with the salt axle it will be more realistic and we will have links for holding the axle but yeah for now it looks really good and for the fuel tank if we put it here and the engine doesn't have any problem to suction the fuel from there it's gonna be very good and very realistic hope you guys enjoying the project if you do like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one bye for now